This is Radio Nepal. I'm Manjil Ghimire with the news. The headlines first. Public Accounts Committee of the Federal Parliament detects violation of law in procurement process of telecommunication traffic monitoring and fraud control system. Committee instructs Commission for investigation of abuse of authority to investigate the procurement process. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda says regressive forces are trying to mislead people spreading negative remarks against the Republic. And Israel expanding ground offensive into central Gaza refugee camps. Now, the news in detail. The Public Accounts Committee of the House of Representatives has concluded that there was a violation in the law in the procurement process of telecommunication traffic monitoring and fraud control system, Teramox, to be implemented by Nepal Telecommunications Authority. The Telecommunications Authority wants to implement Teramox in order to find out the true details of illegal activities and revenue in the telecommunications sector. A meeting of the Parliamentary Committee held yesterday instructed the Commission for Investigation of Abuse of Authority, CIAA, to submit the work progress details before the committee within 30 days after conducting a study on the Teramox procurement process. The committee also raised 15 questions on the Teramox procurement process from the Telecommunication Authority and has instructed not to go forward with the process for the time being. President Ramchandra Paudil has called on business persons and investors to invest in the infrastructure sector. Addressing the inaugural ceremony of the 7th Baglung Festival yesterday, President Paudil stated that Nepal deserved income generation with leverage of tourism potential, for which robust infrastructures were imperatives. He added Nepal's tourism industry could be further improved and established as a reliable means of income generation and prosperity. The president also called on the authorities concerned to accelerate the Mid-Hill Highway construction works. Prime Minister and CPN Mawi Centre Chair Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda says the regressive forces are trying to mislead people spreading negative remarks against the Republic. Addressing a meeting of the CPN Mawi Centre Ward Committee at Barpak Sulikod Rural Municipality 8 in Gorkha District under the party's special transformation campaign yesterday, Prime Minister Prachanda stressed the need for taking the people into confidence to wipe out the anti-Republic activities. He stated that the main objective of conducting the special transformation campaign of the party was to make the party active and vigorous and defend the change that has been brought about after the struggle and sacrifices. On a different note, Prime Minister Prachanto also informed that the government would finalize the budget by mid-February in a new way so that the people would experience a change. Meanwhile, speaking at a program organized by Barpak Sulikot Rural Municipality in Gorkha yesterday, Prime Minister Prachanda pledged that there would be no budgetary issues for the implementation of Budi Gandaki Reservoir-based hydropower project. A meeting of the Socialist Front held at the Prime Minister's official residence in Balwatari yesterday stressed on speedy formulation of laws required for the implementation of the federalism. Talking to journalists after the meeting, Janata Samazbadi party leader Rajinder Prasad Thresta said the Front urged the Prime Minister to implement the federalism-related laws even through ordinance to empower the provinces. Leader Shrestha said the Front had made plans to organize programs to tear apart questions raised in connection with the federalism, republic and secularism. Minister for Forest and Environment Dr. Birendra Mahato has stressed the need for coordinated efforts in the agenda of climate action. Speaking at a seminar on the theme Achievements and Future Course of Actions of the World Climate Conference, Minister Mahato said the agendas presented by Nepal in the recently held COP28 had drawn attention of the world. He added that in absence of action plan, the fund provided for climate action was facing problems in spending in proper purpose. Eight cases of COVID-19 have been detected in Sudurpasim province in this week. Ganesh South, an auxiliary health worker stationed at the health desk in Gauri Fanta along the Nepal-India border, said COVID symptoms were observed in returnees from India. Four samples of the infected have been already sent to Kathmandu through the province-based lab to detect the COVID variant. 
This news comes to you from Radio Nepal now on to some international updates. Israel is expanding its ground offensive into Palestinian refugee camps in central Gaza as it warns the war with Hamas will last for months. The United Nations has expressed grave concern after Israeli airstrikes reportedly killed dozens of people in Burey, Nusharat and Maghazi camps in recent days. Heavy fighting is also continuing to the south in the city of Khan Yunis. Meanwhile, Palestinian president has described what is happening in Gaza as beyond a war of annihilation. The Hamas Foreign Health Ministry has said at least 195 people have been killed across the territory over the past 24 hours. According to the ministry, more than 21,100 Palestinians have been killed, mostly children and women, during 11 weeks of fighting. The war was triggered by an unprecedented cross-border attack by Hamas gunmen on southern Israel on 7th October, in which at least 1,200 people were killed, most of them civilians and about 240 others taken hostage. U.S. State of Michigan's Supreme Court has refused to hear an appeal by voters to disqualify Donald Trump from next year's presidential primary. They sought to invoke a clause in the U.S. Constitution barring anyone who has engaged in insurrection over the Mr. Trump's role in 2021 Capitol riots. The decision comes days after Colorado became the first state to rule that Mr. Trump was not an eligible candidate. Michigan is considered a battleground state in the 2024 general election. Now the general weather forecast for the country. Meteorological Forecasting Division has forecast the weather to be partly cloudy in the hilly areas of Kusi, Bagmati and Gandaki province and mainly fair in the rest of the country today. According to the latest information provided by the division, the minimum temperature of Kathmandu Valley is recorded as 7.8 degrees Celsius and the maximum temperature as 19.4 degrees Celsius. With this, we have almost come to the end of this news bulletin from Radio Nepal for this hour. But before wrapping it up, let's have a reminder of the headlines once more. Public Accounts Committee of the Federal Parliament detects violation of law in procurement process of telecommunication traffic monitoring and fraud control system. Committee instructs Commission for investigation of abuse of authority to investigate the procurement process. Prime Minister Puspakamal Dahal Prachanda says regressive forces are trying to mislead people spreading negative remarks against the Republic and Israel expanding ground offensive into central Gaza refugee camps. This is all we have for this bulletin. Our next bulletin in English will be at 2 in the afternoon. You can listen to us online on our website www.onlineradionepal.gov.np and our mobile app. For more news and information, keep listening to Radio Nepal. Have a good day.